find another little church while we're close and it's called St Andrews in Tilmerstone so uh, hopefully we'll be able to find that it's about uh, three miles away but I thought I'd uh, let you join me as we drive to it it's uh, turned into a nice day with some beautiful countryside so enjoy the drive along with me but I Cornwall wherever it is, just some small little village with no more than a pub, a shop and a church. I mean, that's a delightful way to uh, reach retirement, I think. That's the plan anyway. This is lovely, it really is. I can see a big cross up there, so I assume the church is here. Somewhere. Look at that, isn't that delightful? A little cottage there on the corner. I'm just trying to locate the church. Isn't that strange? It says it's here. I can't see a uh, spire or anything like that. So maybe I've driven past it. I'll uh, go a little further and I'll turn around and maybe it's tucked away up a track somewhere but I'm in awe with these little cottages they're so beautiful no, I think I'll, uh, I'll turn around somewhere here ah no that's a that's a chapel that's not a church Looks like it's been converted to a to a house. I'll spin round here and uh, look at that beautiful properties. Really lovely. Right, we'll uh, 
bank I can just see in front of me. Let me have a look. Yes indeed. Oh, Your destination is on the left. Lovely. Oh right, I'm looking forward to going and have a look at that one. Let's um, pull up here a bit and change cameras. Oh wow, look at uh, Look at this, isn't it gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely little church here set up on the uh, kind of hillside. Lovely little village. I'm quite right, that sign says there, historic village. Of Tillman Stone. Again, so it looks like the be uh, church dates from the eleventh century. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it forms part of a larger estate, Tillman Stone. Look at that beautiful cottage there. That, that lovely. What a lovely area. So we take a walk up the pathway. Obviously still a very much working church. Look at that entrance way. And what it says up there, it says, uh, prepare to meet thy God. That archway is beautiful. And it's also a Commonwealth graves. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that tree. We'll have a look at that in a minute. What a lovely, lovely location. And what a beautiful church. Look at that. Lovely large spire there. Oh. Bell tower. It's a really big graveyard actually. Look at this uh, entryway here. Beautifully crafted. Lovely entrance way. Delightful. Wow. lights on. Ok, 
back at that. Really old font. Beautiful cat piece there. Wow, I wonder if this is a... Look at that stained glass up there. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely archway. I just wonder if this is a, a Catholic church. These are not confessionals, are they? Oh no, it's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a little kitchen. And there's the uh, the bell pool leading right up to the top of the tower there. That lovely. So lucky in England that we've got so many old and beautiful churches that we can still get into. It looks like there's um, some kind of vaulted area down there. I don't know what's under there or how far it goes down. But anyway, looking back on this uh, woodwork, it's quite beautiful. So a really lovely area there. That lovely. Has a really old feel to this one, so uh, clearly it's it's old. And looking at the stone here, it's uh, it's not legible at all, but it's it's had centuries and centuries of uh, being walked on. Lovely pews. I say that's got a coat of arms again above the the entrance door there. Unicorn, lion, and uh, scepter, etc. So a royal seal, no doubt. Look at that picture, that's beautiful. I don't know. Maybe this is Catholic. It has a different feel to it. A beautiful uh, oak ceiling. Look at those cross beams there. Big old English oak cross beams. Gorgeous. Very still, very quiet. Some beautiful stained glass. There, those angel wings look exquisite in the reds and the blues. Again, that was a delightful stained glass window. That's a pulpit. I say the uh, the woodwork is exceptional here. The carving divider between the main aisle and the uh, the front of the church. That lovely. It so leads into a tiled floor, which is absolutely gorgeous. Which is clearly original to the the church being built. Lovely stained glass window there, showing uh, the king and queen. I think it was a royal church of some description. It's certainly showing a lot of uh, lions and crests. It's so beautiful altar stone. And the, uh, the paintings and uh, wall art behind is exquisite. There's uh, Christ on the cross there. That must be Jesus in the middle of this picture here and uh, two angels either side. 
What a beautiful uh, water. These windows depicting some religious men. I think it might be Catholic. Please let me know in the comments if uh, you know for sure. But it does look Catholic to me. And so look at that beautiful sight down the, uh, the central aisle there to the back of the church. And so the... Uh, Cutout there is exquisite. Could be uh, vines, wine, vines, grape vines, I should say. Such a lovely church. I've got one that's uh, recognisable here. It's uh, here life the body of. I can't make out the name, but they died in 1631, by the looks of it. So is an old stone but this one here is say it's uh, these are already oh it's 16 oh i don't know could be 16 50 but that one's definitely uh, ineligible illegible oh my god yeah something like that anyway but that's an interesting area for sure i'd like to know what's down there it might be a crypto or something like that but I suppose we can find out. But yeah, so that was a, a look around the inside of this beautiful church. Well, it's such lovely looking down the central aisle there to the altar. Very much used and very much loved by the looks of it. That's gorgeous. Right, let's uh, turn the lights off. And we'll take a look around the the graveyard. Again, it's lovely to take a look inside these. Where should we go? We'll have a look around to the right first. It's a lot larger than I first uh, first thought, but look at that that tree it is absolutely huge i've never seen one that big um, as i say the name of this tree is eludes me at the moment and i don't know why they always put them in a graveyard but they are gorgeous that is mega and gnarly and old extremely old look at these these have actually uh They've either sunk or I don't know. They're very old, some of these. Early 1700s, 1800s. Just drawn over here to this stone. It looks quite ornate. And it's obviously a family plot. Um, I can only make out one date, 19, 1900 I think it is, something like that, so beautifully carved stone. Nice simple stone, Henry John Bernard Rice, 1928, 2010. Look at that little uh, house there right by the cemetery. It's probably one of my <laughs> most wants really I'd love to uh, live near a little church and cemetery next door there's the bedroom look right by it marvellous look at that tree I can't get over the size of it look at that one sacred uh, wife of James Wiley, Louise, Louise, uh, Wiley, Wiley, age 58, 1873. Really lovely graveyard. That's a nice old stone. Just starting to degrade now. Died 1801. Uh, 
Lucy Ellis. Biggington, beautiful. Such a lovely location. I apologies, I don't I'm trying to avoid walking on the graves themselves. Some really unusual <coughs> stones here. 1829. You've got some stones around the uh, the edge of the graveyard, which I assume could be the original, um, maybe stones, but no, it's no, it's 1923 that one. So it's not not so old. Just looks quite weathered. Beautiful. Just want to go in the corner here. There's a lovely old angel on top of the stone or a cherub or something. Yeah, it's really old. I can't make out a date on that. But this one, the corner, in memory of Lord Pender, John Willoughby, third Baron Pender of Porth Corno or something, 6th of May 1933, died 2016, and Lady Pender, OBE, died September 2013, so not too old, so there's a Baron and a Lady buried there. A beautiful location, isn't it? And so you get the uh, back end of the church there. Glorious. Again, got to be a really old, 900 to 1,000 years old. That one. It's a really nice, simple stone there. In memory of Bessie Hanson, dear wife of Bill, Mum and Nana died 2003 age 93 god bless you may you rest in peace and there's a he said there's a war grave so he said um, buried elsewhere af husk able seaman rnj forward slash two six seven four two hms Cochrane, 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 23rd of May 1920, aged 22 years, so obviously died at sea. Bless him. God bless you. So, obviously, from this village, the poor uh, seaman. So, look at the church, isn't that gorgeous? Delightful. Just have a walk around to the exit. Looks like it's an old doorway they've been picked up probably a long, long time ago. There's some lovely properties around here as well. A delightful cottage in front of us. beautiful sight so um, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did such a beautiful church and uh, a lovely graveyard I do love these old trees that line the church itself just on top of a little hill and just walks down into a little 
country village. So I want to thank you for joining me again and uh, please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the videos I make and uh, I hope to see you on the next one. You have a lovely day. Goodbye. Thank you.